What products are made from recycling plastic? A new clothing fiber called Fortral Eco Spun is made from recycled plastic soda bottles. The fiber is knit or woven into garments such as fleece for outerwear or long underwear. The processor estimates that every pound of Fortral Eco Spun fiber results in 10 plastic bottles being kept out of landfills. What is the role of plasmids? Plasmids are small, circular molecules of DNA containing genetic information. They contain about 2% of the genetic information of a cell and are separate from chromosomes. Although plasmids are not essential to the life of a bacterium, they determine a cell's resistance to antibiotics, commonly referred to as the R factor or resistance factor. Certain plasmids allow the transfer of genetic material, which is essential in genetic engineering. How can biotechnology be used to manufacture vaccines? Vaccine development is risky using conventional methods because vaccines must be manufactured inside living organisms. And the diseases themselves are extremely dangerous and infectious. Using genetic engineering, specific pathogen proteins that trigger antibody. Production are isolated and inserted into a bacterial or fungal vector. The organisms are then cultured to produce large quantities of the protein. What are the components of a gene? The term gene describes a section of DNA that will be used as a template to build a strand of RNA or protein. In addition to this information, each gene also contains a promoter region, which indicates where the coding information actually begins, and a terminator, which delineates the end of the gene. What is a climate, and how is it characterized? Climate refers to the long-term weather conditions of a region, based on long-term averaging of temperature. Climates often undergo cyclic changes over decades, centuries, and millennia but it is difficult to predict future climate changes. A climate diagram summarizes seasonal variation in temperature, precipitation, length of wet slash dry seasons, and portion of the year spent in specific temperature ranges. Weather and climate are important because they are the determining factors of biomes and ecosystems. What are the ideal conditions for fungi to attack wood? Fungi tend to attack woods when temperatures range between 50 degrees and 90 degrees Fahrenheit, 
10 degrees and 32 degrees Celsius. Wood needs to be moist for fungi to grow. The most serious decay occurs when the moisture content of the wood is approximately 30%. Wood with a moisture content of less than 20% will usually not decay. And any infection will not progress. Wood that is too wet will not decay because the excess moisture does. Not allow fungi sufficient access to air thus impeding their growth. How can behavior evolve? If behavior has a genetic basis, and certain behaviors provide greater reproductive advantages than others, then those genes will become more common in the population. Therefore, while the behavior could be said to evolve, it is actually the genetic source of the behavior that is evolving. What is the effect of ozone on leaves? Ozone can enter the leaves of a plant through the stomata along with carbon dioxide, CO2. Ozone causes the cells surrounding the stomata to decrease in turgidity. Thus reducing the size of the opening. This protects the plant from further exposure to ozone. However, once inside the leaf, Ozone is highly reactive and can destroy the leaf cells. Do animals cry? Crying in response to emotional distress has been documented only in humans. However, many animals, particularly the young, demonstrate their response to distress by changes in vocalizations and movement. While tear production, the lacrimal response, is found in a number of animals, but not crocodiles. The tears are used to maintain the cleanliness and moisture of the eyes and not to display emotion. What is meant by a genetic fingerprint? Just as a real fingerprint is used to identify people individually, a genetic or DNA fingerprint is a unique pattern of DNA sequences for each individual. What is an adaptation? This term refers to how well an organism adapts to its environment. Adapted individuals survive and reproduce better than individuals without those adaptations. An example of an adaptation would be the long ears and limbs of rabbits living in desert-like conditions. These adaptations allow the rabbits to radiate heat more efficiently over a large surface area. Thus making it easier to survive in a harsh climate. How do we know the energy needs of different organisms?
The basal metabolic rate, BMR, of an organism refers to the amount of energy needed while resting, to maintain normal life processes. BMR is determined by measuring an organism's production of heat or carbon dioxide or by analyzing oxygen consumption. An organism's BMR can vary according to a variety of factors, including age, gender, size, body temperature, the surrounding environmental temperature, available food quality, hormonal levels, the time of day, activity levels, and the amount of oxygen available. What was the flower clock of Linnaeus? Carolus Linnaeus, 1707-1778, who was responsible for the binomial nomenclature. Classification system of living organisms, invented a floral clock to tell the time of day. He had observed over a number of years that certain plants constantly opened and closed their flowers at particular times of the day, these times varying from species to species. One could deduce the approximate time of day according to which species had opened or closed its flowers. Linnaeus planted a garden displaying local flowers. Arranged in sequence of flowering throughout the day, that would flower even on cloudy or cold days. He called it a horologium flori or flower clock. Is antibiotic resistance an evolutionary trend? Antibiotic resistance is the loss of susceptibility in bacteria to drugs like penicillin and erythromycin. The reason that it is interesting from an evolutionary perspective is that it demonstrates evolution happening in real time that is, within a period easily observable by humans. The variation in response to antibiotics within a population of bacteria is similar to that described by Darwin and Wallace. When some bacterial cells survive after an incomplete course of antibiotic treatment, they form the basis for a new drug resistance strain. What is troubling, however, is that different types of bacteria can actually Share the genes that make them drug resistant. So that this ability is becoming more prevalent among different strains of disease causing organisms. What prevents urine from leaking out of the bladder and getting into the body? The cells that form your bladder are held together by tight junctions, which are connections between cells that hold them together so closely that urine can't slip through to reach the rest of the body. These connections, formed by protein strands that bind the cell membranes, also play an important role in keeping food in the digestive tract until it has been completely processed. What is a population?
A population is a group composed of all members of the same species that live in a specific geographical area at a particular time. An example of a population might include all the gray squirrels that live in a certain urban park. The areas occupied by a population could include the small area. Measured in square millimeters, occupied by bacteria in a rotting apple to the vast areas of ocean. Square kilometers, that include the territory of migrating sperm whales. Population ecology is the branch of ecology that studies the structure and changes within a population. Studies of specific populations will indicate the dynamics of the population. In terms of active, ongoing growth, declining growth, or stability. What antidote is available for mushroom poisoning? No effective antidote for mushroom poisoning in humans has been discovered. The 138 toxins produced by mushrooms accumulate in the liver and lead to irreversible liver damage. Unfortunately, there may be no indication of poisoning for several hours after ingesting a toxic mushroom. When the symptoms do present, they often resemble typical food poisoning. Liver failure becomes apparent three to six days after ingesting a poisonous mushroom. Oftentimes a liver transplant may be the only possible form of treatment. When were mitochondria discovered? In 1857 Rudolf Albert von Kalliker, 1817-1905, histologist and embryologist. First described sarcosomes, now called mitochondria, in muscle cells. The term mitochondrion, meaning thread-like granule, was first used in 1898. Functionally active mitochondria were first isolated in 1948. Kalliker was among the first biologists to interpret tissue structure in terms of cellular elements. How does light affect the growth of fern gametophytes? Light controls spore germination in ferns. Wavelengths in the red range of the spectrum, about 700 nanometers, induce spore germination. While wavelengths in the blue light of the spectrum, about 400 nanometers, prevent spore germination. Red light also induces apical growth and positive phototroism. Increases the gap phase in mitosis, and delays the formation of cell plates during cytokinesis. On the other hand, blue light inhibits these phenomena. What is the modern synthesis? In 1942 Julian Huxley, 1887-1975, the grandson of Thomas Huxley, A. K. A. Darwin's Bulldog, published Evolution, The Modern Synthesis. 
This work, which used discoveries in the areas of population genetics and Mendelian inheritance to reintroduce Darwinian evolution, did much to reassert natural selection as the mechanism of evolution. What is cognition? Cognition is the highest form of learning, and consists of the perception, storage, and processing of information gathered by sensory receptors. What are the main functions of the plasma membrane? The main purpose of the plasma membrane is to provide a barrier that keeps cellular components inside the cell while simultaneously keeping unwanted substances from entering the cell. The membrane allows essential nutrients to be transported into the cell and aids in the removal of waste products from the cell. The specific functions of a membrane depend on the kinds of phospholipids and proteins present in the plasma membrane. What is a life history table? A life history table, also referred to as a life table, is a table that shows both survival and death rates in a specific population or organisms. The life table is patterned after actuarial tables used by insurance companies. What are multifactorial traits? Phenotypes that are the result of one or more environmental factors and at least two genes are called multifactorial traits. This designation reflects the many factors that may have a role in the physical manifestation of a gene sequence. There are many illnesses that are multifactorial, an example is favism. An inborn metabolic disorder with a predisposition to anemia. However, the anemia only develops when fava beans are eaten or the pollen is inhaled. The environmental factor Why is evolution a theory? A scientific theory is an explanation of observed phenomena that is supported by the available scientific data. The term theory is used as an indication that the Explanation will be modified as new data becomes available. For example, the Darwin-Wallace theory was proposed prior to the discovery of the molecular nature of genetics but has since been expanded to encompass that information as well. What was one of the earliest flowering plants?
scientists do not know for certain which plant was the world's first flowering plant. But many surmise that it was the cattail tifolatifolia, a species still found today. Although it looks like a reed, it is actually a flowering plant. The flowers are tiny, and the petals and sepals are made up of a few bristles. Are humans the only animals who can think? Before one can answer this question, one must define what is meant by thought. How are genes controlled? Genes are controlled by regulatory mechanisms that vary by whether the organism is a prokaryote or a eukaryote. Bacteria, prokaryote, genes can be regulated by DNA binding proteins that influence the rate of transcription, or by global regulatory mechanisms that refer to an organism's response to specific environmental stimuli such as heat shock. This is particularly important in bacteria. Gene control in eukaryotes depends on a complex set of regulatory elements that turn genes off and on at specific times. Among these regulatory elements are DNA binding proteins as well as proteins that in turn control the activity of the DNA binding proteins. What are dimorphic fungi? Many fungi, particularly those that cause disease in humans, are dimorphic that is. They have two forms. In response to changes in temperature, nutrients, or other environmental factors, they can change from a yeast form to a mold form. How are bacteria classified on the basis of metabolic activity? Bacteria are either heterotrophic or autotrophic. Heterotrophs rely on organic compounds for carbon and energy needs. While autotrophs require inorganic nutrients and carbon dioxide as their sole source of carbon. Most bacteria are heterotrophs, and must obtain organic compounds from other organisms. The majority of heterotrophs are free-living saprobes, also known as saprophytes or saprotrophs, and obtain their nourishment from dead, organic matter. Autotrophs can be photosynthetic or chemosynthetic. Photosynthetic autotrophs obtain their energy from light while chemosynthetic autotrophs obtain their energy by oxidizing inorganic chemicals. What are the general characteristics of biomes? A biome is a one of the world's prominent ecosystems. 
characterized by both vegetation and organisms particularly adapted to that environment. What is page? Page, polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis, is a type of separation method in which polyacrylamide, a polymer of acrylamide, is used instead of agarose in the gel bed of the electrophoresis chamber. Polyacrylamide is preferable to agarose because it forms a tighter gel bed that is then capable of separating smaller molecules. Especially those with molecular weights that are very similar. Page is used in DNA sequencing, DNA fingerprinting, and for protein separation. How are biological rhythms correlated with animal behavior? A biological rhythm is a biological event or function that is repeated over time in the same order and with a specific interval. Biological rhythms are evident when an animal's behavior can be directly correlated to certain environmental features that occur at a distinct frequency. Biological clocks control animal behaviors such as when migration, mating, sleep, hibernation, and eating occur. What are the general characteristics of a plant? A plant is a multicellular, eukaryotic organism with cellulose-rich cell walls and chloroplasts that has starch as the primary carbohydrate food reserve. Plants are primarily terrestrial, autotrophic, capable of making their own food. Organisms Most plants contain chlorophylls A and B and xanthophylls, yellow pigments, as well as carotenes, orange pigments. Can pearls be genetically engineered? Pearls can now be genetically engineered because scientists have isolated and characterized the protein nacrine, which is the primary component of pearls. When nacrine is combined with calcium ions, it forms an organic matrix similar to that found in an oyster's inner shell. What is the difference between DNA and RNA viruses? In DNA viruses, the synthesis of viral DNA is similar to how the host cell would normally carry out DNA synthesis. The virus inserts its genetic material into the host's DNA. In RNA viruses, transcription, the first stage of protein synthesis, in which messenger RNA is produced from the DNA, takes place with the help of RNA polymerase. Who coined the term biology?
John Baptiste de Lamarck, 1744 to 1829, is credited with coining the term biology, from the Greek terms bios, meaning life, and logi, meaning study of, in 1802 to describe the science of life. He was also the first to publish a version of an evolutionary tree. Which describes the ancestral relationships among species. Can you teach an old dog new tricks? Effective dog training is based on using the dog's normal behavior to teach it new applications. For example, rewarding Fido when he randomly performs the desired behavior. Will allow the trainer to eventually generate that response on demand. Theoretically, positive reinforcement can be used at any stage of a dog's life. Do all cells require oxygen? Not all cells require oxygen. There are cells that use a metabolic pathway called fermentation to produce energy. Examples of anaerobic, non-oxygen dependent. Organisms include yeast and bacteria that are able to thrive in an environment with low levels of oxygen. However, the majority of organisms are aerobic. Oxygen dependent, because of the high ATP yield that oxygen provides. ATP is the main energy source for cells. Under some circumstances. Oxygen-dependent cells can harvest energy from fermentation for short periods of time. However, this shortcut eventually results in a buildup of a lactic acid, a toxic waste product, and produces little ATP. What is malarian mimicry? Fritz Müller, 1821-1897, a German-born zoologist, described a phenomenon in 1878 in which a group of species with the same adaptations against predation was also of similar appearance. This phenomenon is now called malarian mimicry. Malarian mimics include wasps and bees. All of which have similar yellow and black striped patterns that serve as a warning to potential predators. Who was Charles Darwin? The theory of natural selection proposed by Charles Darwin. 1809 to 1882, revolutionized all aspects of natural science. Darwin was born into a family of physicians and planned to follow his father and grandfather in that profession. Unable to stand the sight of blood, he studied divinity at Cambridge and received a degree from the university in 1830. What is a biopesticide?
A biopesticide is a chemical derived from an organism that interferes with the metabolism of another species. An example is the Bt toxin Bacillus thuringiensis, which interferes with the absorption of food in insects but does not harm mammals. What is pleiotropy? Pleiotropy refers to a case where one gene may influence several other characteristics. An example of pleiotropy is sickle cell anemia, a disorder in which a single point Mutation in the amino acid sequence for hemoglobin results in a spectrum of effects. Red blood cells produce abnormal hemoglobin molecules, which, because of their odd shape, tend to stick together and crystallize. Therefore, the normal disc shape of red blood cells changes to a sickle shape. Hence the name of the disorder. Sickle-shaped red blood cells will clog small vessels, causing pain and the possibility of brain damage and heart failure. Since some of the hemoglobin in these cells is abnormal, there is less oxygen available, leading to physical weakness and anemia. If left untreated, the anemia can impair mental function. Who discovered how muscles work? Hugh Huxley, 1924, and Andrew Huxley, 1917, the scientists were unrelated. Researched theories regarding muscle contraction Hugh Huxley was initially a nuclear physicist who entered the field of biology at the end of World War II. He used both X-ray diffraction and electron microscopy to study muscle contraction. Andrew Huxley was a muscle biochemist who obtained data similar to Hughes, indicating that the contractile proteins thought to be present in muscles are not contractile at all, but rather slide past each other to shorten a muscle. This theory is called the sliding filament theory of muscle contraction. How do animals know which prey to eat? Once an animal has located a potential food, it must decide whether to consume or ignore it. In field studies, behavioral ecologists have observed that animals usually select food that will yield the higher rate of energy return for the energy spent capturing the food. Very few animals actually eat all of the food they are capable of consuming. This is known as optimal foraging strategy. As an example, crows that live in the Pacific Northwest often find little neck clams which they drop on rocks to crack the clams and then eat them. However, the crows do not eat all the clams they locate. They only eat those clams that are larger and thus contain more energy. Who started Earth Day?
The first Earth Day, April 22, 1970, was coordinated by Dennis Hayes at the request of Gaylord Nelson, 1916, U.S. Senator from Wisconsin. Nelson is sometimes called the father of Earth Day. His main objective was to organize a nationwide public demonstration so large it would get the attention of politicians and force the environmental issue into the political dialogue of the nation. Important official actions that began soon after the celebration of the first Earth Day were the establishment of the Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, the creation of the President's Council on Environmental Quality, and the passage of the Clean Air Act, establishing national air quality standards. In 1995 Gaylord Nelson received the Presidential Medal of Freedom for his contributions to the environmental protection movement. Earth Day continues to be celebrated each spring. How can plastics be made biodegradable? Plastic neither rusts nor rots. This is an advantage in its usage, but when it comes to disposal of plastic, the advantage turns into a liability. Degradable plastic has starch in it so that it can be attacked by starch-eating bacteria to eventually disintegrate the plastic into bits. Chemically degradable plastic can be broken up with a chemical solution that dissolves it. Used in surgery, biodegradable plastic stitches slowly dissolve in the body fluids. Photodegradable plastic contains chemicals that disintegrate. Over a period of 1 to 3 years when exposed to light. 25% of the plastic yolks used to package beverages are made from a plastic called E. colid, which is photodegradable. Do all cells use the same source of energy? Most cells use glucose as their primary energy source. But lipids and proteins can be broken down to provide energy as well. Lipids are catabolized to their monomers, glycerol and fatty acids which are then metabolized within the pathways of cell respiration. Proteins are also catabolized to their amino acid building blocks, which are then fed into the process of glycolysis, also known as the Krebs cycle. How does the apical meristem of the root grow? The apical meristem of the root divides and produces cells inwardly and outwardly. The cells that are produced inwardly grow backwards up the root, while the cells that are produced outwardly grow forward in the direction the root is growing. The outward cell division creates a root cap. What are the structures present in typical fungi?
Most fungi are a mass of intertwined filaments known as hyphae that are surrounded by a rigid cell wall. Each hypha cell has a distinct nucleus. Individual cells may be separated by walls called septa. The hyphae form a radially expanding network called the mycelium. Cytoplasm flows freely throughout hyphae, passing through major pores present in the septa. Because of this streaming, proteins synthesized throughout the hyphae may be carried to their tips, which are actively growing. As a result, fungal hyphae may grow very rapidly when food and water are abundant and the temperature is optimum. Do all cells divide at the same rate? No, all cells do not divide at the same rate. Cells that require frequent replenishing, such as skin or intestinal cells, may only take roughly 12 hours to complete a cell cycle. Other cells, such as liver cells, remain in a resting state. Interphase, for up to a year before undergoing division. There are also cells that exist for a lifetime in a non-dividing state. An example of which would be human brain cells. What was Alfred Russell Wallace's contribution to phrenology? Alfred Russell Wallace became interested in a number of subjects outside of natural science, including the suffragette movement and spiritualism. He is also known for his approval of phrenology which uses the shape of an individual's skull to make predictions about his or her mental functions. Wallace pointed out that while other scientists talked about the connection between the mind and the body, phrenologists had actually attempted to link physical structures. The skull, with mental attributes, thought processes. Although phrenology has been largely discounted as a valid scientific endeavor, in Wallace's time it was just one of a number of areas of investigation into the natural world. Can cobras really hypnotize their prey? While hypnotism would be a fortunate side effect, it is thought that the semi-erect posture and swaying motion are probably used by the cobra to estimate the distance to its prey. African cobras don't strike at their target, rather, they spit venom at threats up to 6 feet 1.9 meters away. To do this, they need to take visual aim. From where do frankincense and myrrh originate? Frankincense is an aromatic gum resin obtained by tapping. The trunks of trees belonging to the genus Boswellia. The milky resin hardens when exposed to the air. 
forming irregularly shaped granules the form in which frankincense is usually marketed and sold. Also called olibanum, frankincense is used as an ingredient in many different products. Including pharmaceuticals, perfumes, fixatives, fumigants, and incense. Myrrh comes from a tree of the genus Comifora, native to the northeastern region of Africa and the Middle East. Myrrh is also a resin obtained from trees, it is used in pharmaceuticals, perfumes, and toothpastes. What is the one gene one enzyme hypothesis? In the 1930s George Beadle, 1903-1989, and Boris F. Russi, 1901-1979. Theorized that the variety of fruit fly mutations might be due to mutations of individual genes that code for each of the enzymes involved in a given pathway. Subsequently, Beadle and Edward Tatum, 1909-1975, performed a series of experiments with the orange bread mold neurospora that elucidated the enzymatic pathway required by the fungus to produce a specific nutritional requirement, arginine. The researchers were able to create a series of mutants, each lacking in a different enzyme in the pathway. In this way they were able to piece together the sequence of events required for the production of arginine and thereby show where each mutant fit. The work of Beetle and Tatum provided important support for the one gene one enzyme hypothesis which holds that the function of a gene is to produce a specific enzyme. Their work garnered a Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1958. What is the Superfund Act? In 1980 the United States Congress passed the Comprehensive Environmental Response, Compensation, and Liability Act, commonly known as the Superfund Program. This law, along with amendments in 1986 and 1990, established a $16.3 billion. Superfund financed jointly by federal and state governments and by special taxes on chemical and petrochemical industries, which provide 86% of the funding. The purpose of the Superfund is to identify and clean up abandoned hazardous waste, dump sites and leaking underground tanks that threaten human health and the environment to keep taxpayers from footing most of the bill, cleanups are based on the polluter pays principle. The EPA is charged with locating dangerous dump sites, finding the potentially liable culprits, ordering them to pay for the entire cleanup, and suing them if they don't. When the EPA can find no responsible party, it draws money out of the Superfund for cleanup. Why do some animals hunt only at night? In the arms race between predator and prey. A change in the behavior of one species can drive adaptation in another, 
Coevolution Many rodent species for example, are adapted to life at night. But their predators have gained adaptations to night work as well. Owls and foxes have special adaptations that allow them to hunt at night for nocturnally active rodents, example field mice, moles, voles. Who originated the idea called panspermia? Panspermia is the idea that microorganisms, spores, or bacteria attached to tiny particles of matter have traveled through space. Eventually landing on a suitable planet and initiating the rise of life there. The word itself means all seeding. The British scientist Lord Kelvin, 1824 to 1907, suggested in the 19th century that life may have arrived here from outer space, perhaps carried by meteorites. In 1903, the Swedish chemist Svante Arrhenius. 1859 to 1927 put forward the more complex panspermia idea that life on earth was seeded by means of extraterrestrial spores bacteria and microorganisms coming here on tiny bits of cosmic matter if primates are so close to humans both genetically and evolutionarily, then why can't they speak? Scientists used to think that apes were not intelligent enough to speak. However, it is now thought that an ape's vocal cords are not built for speech. After many years of observations, it is well known that apes do use vocal communication. But it is usually in the form of hoots and grunts, with accompanying gestures. What is a reading frame? The reading frame is the three nucleotide section of the mRNA molecule that is read by tRNA during translation. Normally, the reading frame matches the codon, but mutations that cause the gain or loss of nucleotides can result in the offsetting of the reading frame, leading to the production of a very different protein. For example, a sentence comprised of three-letter words changes its meaning with the deletion of one letter, the big fat cat ate one red rat. Delete the first letter E and this sentence becomes THBIGFATC at a tether at rat, which effectively is nonsense. What is a subspecies? A subspecies is another way of describing a distinct population or variety. This term is used to describe the generation of hybrids that can occur when two different populations meet and interbreed. What is the pollutant standard index?
the U. S. Environmental Protection Agency and the South Coast Air Quality Management District of El Monte. California, devised the Pollutant Standard Index to monitor concentrations of pollutants in the air and inform the public concerning related health effects. The scale, which measures the amount of pollution in parts per million, has been in use nationwide since 1978. What are the main components of a bacterial cell? The major components of a bacterial cell are the plasma membrane, cell wall, and a nuclear region containing a single, circular DNA molecule. Plasmid small circular pieces of DNA that exist independently of the bacterial chromosome are also present in a bacterial cell. In addition, some bacteria may have flagella, which aids in movement, pili or fimbriae, which are short, hair-like appendages that help bacteria adhere to various surfaces, including the cells that they infect, or a capsule of slime around 92, the cell wall that protects it from other microorganisms. What are the major differences between monocots and dicots? The seed leaves, also called cotyledons, are different in monocots and dicots. Monocots have one cotyledon, while dicots have two cotyledons. How does cyanide affect cells? Cyanide acts by inhibiting the enzyme cells need for oxygen utilization. Without these enzymes, a cell cannot produce ATP and will die. People can be accidentally exposed to cyanide. Very small amounts of cyanide naturally occur in some foods and plants. For example, cyanide is present in cigarettes and in the smoke produced by burning plastics. Cyanide is also used to make paper and textiles, clean metals. Separate gold from its ore, and in the chemicals used to develop photographs. Pesticides used in ships and buildings may also contain cyanide. What is the largest invertebrate? The largest invertebrate is the giant squid, Archituthis ducks which averages 30 to 53 feet, 9 to 16 m, in length including its tentacles. It may reach a length of 69 feet 21 meters. These animals have the largest eyes, up to 10 in, 25 centimeters, in diameter, in the animal kingdom. It is believed that they generally live on or near the ocean bottom at a depth of 3,281 feet. 1,000 m, or slightly more than a half mile below the surface of the sea.
when was the great period of expansion for species? The Cambrian explosion was the relatively brief period, approximately 40 million years long. When all of the major animal groups recognized today first appeared. This event, which occurred about 500 million years ago, is probably the result of changes in genome organization. These changes led to variations in the types of proteins produced, ultimately leading to a change in the structures built from those proteins. What is the chemical composition of chitin? Chitin, found in the exoskeletons of insects and other arthropods, is a glucosamine polysaccharide with the formula of C30H50O19N4 and a molecular weight of 770.42. The basic units of this substance are linked together by condensation reactions to make up long chains. Hydrogen bonds link the chains together and help make chitin rigid and strong. It is a white, amorphous, semi-transparent mass that is insoluble in common solvents like water and alcohol. What evidence has led scientists to believe land plants evolved from green algae? Many scientists believe that ancient green algae evolved into land plants. The chloroplasts present in green algae are the same as those of land plants. In addition, Green algae have cell walls of similar composition to land plants. Both store food, such as starch, in the same manner. Most green algae live in freshwater habitats with highly variable conditions. The ongoing changes in their environment have made them highly adaptable. What is behavioral ecology? Behavioral ecology investigates the relationship between the environment and animal behavior. It emphasizes the evolutionary roots of the behavior, in contrast to the classical studies. Involving animals in laboratory settings. George C. Williams, 1926, in his book Adaptation and Natural Selection. 1966, first posed the question as to how behavior affects evolutionary fitness. By showing that behavior is responsive to the environmental forces that drive natural selection. And evolutionary fitness, researchers have demonstrated that the environment plays a crucial role in determining which behaviors are exhibited in natural settings. Which industries release the most toxic chemicals? As of 2001 the metal mining industry released the most toxic chemicals. Although overall its output was less than that for the year 2000. Of the total 6.15 billion pounds 2.8 billion kilograms. 
of material released on and off-site by industry, food production. Commonly thought of as a mostly environmentally benign industry, was responsible for 2%. 125 million pounds or 57 million kilograms, or about 8 times as much as the coal mining industry. The total amount of waste is distributed as follows. How critical is the problem of landfills in the United States? Landfilling has been an essential component of waste management for several decades. In 1960, 62% of all garbage was sent to landfills, and by 1980 the figure had risen to 81%. By 1990, 84% of the 269 million tons of municipal solid waste that was generated was sent to landfills. An increased awareness of the benefits of recycling has brought a decline in the actual number of landfills from 4,482 in 1995 to 2. 142 in 2000 as well as a decrease in the amount of municipal solid waste that is sent to landfills. Figures for 2000 indicate that only 60% of the municipal solid waste generated was sent to landfills. The total amount of recycled waste increased from 8% to 33% between 1990 and 2000. How can some animals communicate via electric fields? Sharks, skates, and rays, all cartilaginous fish, have specialized structures for sensing weak electric fields. These structures are used for finding prey and navigation, and are also thought to be useful in finding mates as well. Which organism has the least number of chromosomes? The organism with the least number of chromosomes is the male Australian ant. Myrmchia pilosula, with one chromosome per cell. Male ants are generally haploid that is. They have half the number of normal chromosomes while the female ant has two chromosomes per cell. Bacteria have one circular chromosome consisting of DNA and associated proteins. How do cells move? Not all cells move, those that do move exhibit distinct body features and methods for inducing movement. Cells with flagella, such as sperm, move by whipping the flagellum back and forth. Several protists. Example paramecia, have cilia which are much smaller than flagella that produce movement by shifting through liquid in a way that is similar to how an oar can be used to propel a boat through water. Pseudopodia, often referred to as fake feet, are cellular extensions caused by a stretching of the cell membrane. 
Pseudopodia are used by Amoebae, protists, for movement and acquiring prey. Macrophages, white blood cells that play an important role in the immune system of human beings. Use Pseudopodia to attack and devour invading microbes. What is nest parasitism? From an evolutionary perspective, if breaking the rules is to your advantage, you should do so, as long as you don't get caught. Taking advantage of another's hard work has been documented in a number of species. Most notably the brown-headed cowbird. Cowbirds find food by following large mammals, e. g. cows, across open country and eating the bugs disturbed by their hooves. Additionally, when it comes time to reproduce, female cowbirds simply fly off into nearby woods and lay their eggs in the nests of other species which then raise the cowbird offspring with, or instead of, their own. This nest parasitism is thought to have contributed to the population decrease of species like the eastern bluebird. Several other species are well known for this behavior. Most notably the cuckoo, giving rise to the expression a cuckoo in the nest. Describing someone with a hidden agenda or who is operating under false pretenses. Do animals ever run out of energy? Because the amount of energy available to an animal at any particular trophic level is limited by the distance between that level and primary producers. Animals can obtain only a finite amount of energy from their habitats. Therefore, over evolutionary time, species make concessions in terms of their lifestyle attributes in order to best utilize their limited resources. Examples of items within the energy budget are activities like reproduction, growth, and maintenance. While the energy expended on growth and reproduction can remain in the system as biomass, the energy used for maintenance is lost as heat. What is a gene family? Genes are organized into groups called gene families. Many genes have overlapping sequences with each other. Those that share between 30 and 90 percent of their sequences are grouped together in families. Gene families may range in size from just a few genes to several thousand. An example of a gene family is the group of genes that code for histones. Histones are proteins important for maintaining DNA in a particular shape. What diseases have been linked to prions? It is thought that prions are responsible for the group of brain. Diseases known as transmissible spongiform encephalopathies, says. 
This group includes the disease that is referred to as bovine spongiform encephalopathy. Mad cow disease, when it occurs in cattle and Creutzfeldt Jacob disease when it occurs in humans. What is pharmacogenomics? Pharmacogenomics is the use of DNA technology to develop new drugs and optimize current drug treatment to individual patients. For example, the interaction of a drug with a specific protein can be studied and then compared to a cell in which a genetic mutation has inactivated that protein. Its potential is to tailor drug therapy to an individual's genome. A tailoring that could reduce adverse drug reactions and increase the efficacy of drug treatment. What value do liverworts have ecologically? Liverworts provide food for animals. Due to their ability to retain moisture. They also assist in the decay of logs and aid in the disintegration of rocks into soil. What are Operation Ranch Hand and Agent Orange? Operation Ranch Hand was the tactical military project for the aerial spraying of herbicides in South Vietnam during the Vietnam conflict, 1961-1975. In these operations, Agent Orange, the collective name for the herbicides 2,4-D and 2,4,5-T, was used for the defoliation. The name derives from the color-coded drums in which the herbicides were stored. In all, U.S. troops sprayed approximately 19 million gallons. 72 million liters, of herbicides over 4 million acres, 1.6 million hectare. Concerns about the health effects of Agent Orange were initially voiced in 1970. And since then the issue has been complicated by scientific and political debate. In 1993 a 16-member panel of experts reviewed the existing scientific evidence and found strong evidence of a statistical association between herbicides and soft tissue sarcoma. Non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, Hodgkin's disease, and chloracne. On the other hand, the panel concluded that no connection appeared to exist between exposure to Agent Orange and skin cancer, bladder cancer, brain tumors, or stomach cancer.